Hi Fred, it's JP from toughtones.com. When you're tracking distorted rhythmic guitars, how many tracks to record when your goal is tight and huge sound? You hear a lot of different opinions about this. Some record only one guitar to the left and one to the right. Others like to double or triple or even quadruple all the guitars. So in this video I want to demonstrate what sounds the best and what gives you the best results. And I have an example for you. The same part has been recorded with only one guitar on the left and one on the right. And with two guitars on the left and two on the right. So the blue tracks have been doubled so to speak. Let's take a listen which one of these two sounds the best and if there's any difference between them. Let's start with the doubled guitars, the blue ones. Alright, and then just one guitar on the left and one on the right. What do you think, which one is better? Usually when people record these doubled or tripled guitar tracks, their initial idea is that when they play all these guitars with slightly different timing, it's supposed to make them bigger and tighter. So let's take one more listen, and this time I switch back and forth. Let's see if the doubled guitars are bigger or not. I think there's not much of a difference. If something, the doubled guitars sound more muffled and unclear. This is because two tracks are easier to get in sync with each other than four or more tracks. It's easier to play them exactly the same way. And this is further emphasized when you have something more complicated and challenging to record. For example, a rhythmic guitar riff. I have this kind of riff lined up. So let's take another comparison and let's start with the doubled guitars. So in this situation, it's clear that the blue guitars, the doubled ones, are not as tight or focused because multiple tracks are harder to play in sync. So let's take another listen and this time I switch back and forth. Small details are more focused and clear when the tracks are not doubled. And the doubled guitars aren't really any bigger. So in my opinion it's better to record just one guitar to the left and one to the right. It doesn't really make sense to double or triple your tracks when the difference is as tiny as this and the doubled guitars are not even the better ones. So instead of doubling or tripling your guitars, if you want your guitars to sound bigger, record something slightly different. So let's go back to this first example, but instead of exact doubles, we have this slightly different octave guitar going on. So these octave guitars are instead of doubles. 
And now let's take a listen what difference this makes. Let's start with the only left and right guitars and then switch to left and right plus octaves. So now the blue guitars sound actually bigger because of the added element of octave guitars. So in my opinion it's best to record the left and the right guitar as tightly as you can. All the time you spend on layering guitars, recording doubles or triples, is time away from playing the left and the right guitar as tightly as you possibly can. And if you do want to make your guitars bigger, don't just double them, play something slightly different. Like for example these octave guitars we had. Alright, hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you want to know more about making professional quality music from your home, download my free guide that I made just for you. It's about turning your homemade demos into pro sounding full songs. It doesn't obligate to anything and you can download it from toughtones.com slash guide. Thank you so much for watching this video, if you liked what you saw, leave a thumbs up, and remember to subscribe. Until next time, cheers!